Hi all and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me, Sylvia. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful jute basket with a lid. Today's basket you will need this wooden base for crochet you can find them online they do many different designs they are really really beautiful as you can see and I am making these for the teachers as a end of the year present so I will be using this one to show you how to start and today we will be crocheting with this jute string you can find them in the garden centers they are not expensive at all so you will need this jute string i will be using 3.5 millimeters hook you will need a yarn needle a stitch marker pair of scissors tape measure and optional buttons I picked these beautiful B buttons as I want to place one or two somewhere on my lid later on. But this part is optional. Of course, you can choose different buttons. It's up to you. First, we are going to start with the lid. So, for example, I started with this design. So I will show you how to start on this one and then I will show you how to finish it on this design. So just to speed up the video and, and then we will work on the basket once we have our lid prepared. So first grab your base and pull through the gap or the hole like so. So thread your string like this leave the longer yarn end and make a knot like so and you can make two if you like like this now if this knot is too thick you can only make one it's up to you now take your hook insert it will be really tight and I like to work like this so you place it on the hook and look from the side like so and make sure it's hooked and then squeeze it through the hole like so bring it up and make your first single crochet like so like this now as we work we'll be hiding this end now we are going to place our stitch marker so we know this will be our first stitch so insert your hook into the next hole place the cord like so and bring it through it may be a little bit trickier to work with jute string and also through these small gaps but we will get there now once you have it like so two loops on your hook yarn over and work single crochet like so and again into the next one if you want you can pull this loop a little bit higher to reach the next hole like this insert place it on the hook you can hold it like so so it, it goes easier just make sure this is out of the way and 
bring it higher like so yarn over and pull through into the next one you can make a little bit higher so you can reach the next hole again from the side higher like so and you can see your stitches from the top they look amazing so you will work like so all the way around single crochet So continue like so all the way around and once you come to your stitch marker I show you what to do next and I am finishing here and this is my very first single crochet so I will have one last one here like so and where is my stitch marker that's my first stitch so I am going to insert my hook on top as you can see that's my stitch right here so this is the second one this is my first one and I am going to squeeze my hook like so and slip stitch like this now chain one and take this stitch marker out and where is this chain one you will do one more single crochet like so into the same place because this chain of one is not counting as your first single crochet so this will be my first stitch right here and replace your stitch marker now you will work single crochet all the way around let me just get rid of this so this is your very first stitch next one as you can see this one here here so we will try to squeeze our hook like so as you can clearly see so there's the wooden base and that's the stitch our V and we will play single crochet like so into the next one into the next and so on so continue placing single crochet all the way around and once you come to your stitch marker i show you what to do next and i am finishing here so it's my last single crochet here like so and now where is your stitch marker you are going to get it out and into that stitch you will do single crochet so from now on you won't be slip stitching you'll be working into the spiral like so and this will be my first stitch and you can uh, replace the stitch marker if you like but you already can tell this is your star because we have this thicker place here because we have this knot here from the inside so it's visible so you will know this is your very first stitch but if you want of course place the stitch marker but from now on you'll be working single crochet all the way around into the spiral
like so. So work single crochet in all the stitches like so. And also you can move your stitches like this inwards. There will be no increasing or anything. You will be simply working only single crochet in every stitch and you will do so for as many rounds as you need to get about one inch height of your lid, like so. So as you can see here, I already prepared this. So I am going to show you how to finish it on this one. So, so you will work all the way around single crochet into the spiral. So every time you come to your start, you will not slip stitch. You will simply work into your very first stitch and you will do so for about three or four rounds or until you get one inch as I showed you like so. So continue and once you have it then I show you what to do next. And not to worry it will be curling up in as you can see and this is what we want. So once we have one inch we will simply just turn it the other way so like this as this is the right side of our single crochet so continue and then we will turn it the other way once you have your one inch and just to speed up this video I already prepared one lid which has got one inch but with different design so I will just show you how to finish it on this one so once you have your one inch you will work single crochet reversed or also known as a crab stitch to do so you are going to work backwards so you are going to find your first stitch here work into this one that's your first one here insert your hook from the front yarn over and bring it up and pull through like so let me just show you again so into this one here go from the front like so bring it up yarn over and finish your single crochet bring it up a little bit and finish your single crochet and you will go like so all the way around you may get stuck a little bit So continue like so working on your crab stage all the way around and once you come here I show you how to finish it. And I am finishing here so I will go into this very first one just to close the gap. Like so and then I will just finish it like this. I will turn it like so find the gap here bring the loop and pull through like so and chain one too fast enough and once you chain one we can fast enough leave a little bit longer so we can hide it with the yarn needle and this is our lid finished 
Now, I wanted to say, if you want, I will be using this as my lid for the basket. But if you would like to have this as your basket, for example, for the fruit, maybe, you would just add more rounds of single crochets so you can go as high as you like. So, for example, maybe you want your basket to be about five inches so you will just work the rounds of single crochet for five inches and then you will just finish it with a single crochet reversed or the crab stitch so you can use it as a basket for example for the fruit or maybe sweeties it's up to you but i will be using this as a lid for my basket like so if you find it tricky to hide your end with a yarn needle you can also use a small if you are a beginner you can also practice with acrylic yarn first and then work with jute as jute can be a little bit more trickier for the beginners and this is our lid completed. You can also stretch it a little bit, like so. So it will get nicer shape. So next I am going to show you how to work on the basket. So for our basket, we are going to start with a magic ring. So hold this cord and or string and like so. Wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one on top of the second one, play down and twist your hook and go back under this one here like so and pull through the loop like this and this is your magic ring now this chain of one is not counting as your first single crochet so now inside this magic ring we are going to place six single crochet insert your hook yarn over bring it up two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through now bring your stitch marker and place your stitch marker into this very first stitch. So I have one and I need five more. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six single crochet inside the magic ring. Now you are going to close your magic ring like so. And this was your round one. For round two, you are going to place two single crochet in each stitch around. So round two will be our first round of increasing. And when I say increasing, it means two single crochet into the same stitch so get your stitch marker out and for round two two single crochet in each stitch so this is my very first stitch here insert your hook that's first one replace your stitch marker and we need one more into the same place. It may be a little bit more trickier with the jute, but you will get used to it. So one and two into the next one, two again. One and two and so on so two single crochet in each stitch around so at the end of this around two you should have 12 stitches 
two single crochet in each stitch around. We'll do increase into this very first stitch, so it's two single crochet into the same place. Into the next one, you will do only one single crochet. So you will have two, one, two, one, two, one, like so, all the way around. So you will do increase, two stitches into the same place, and then one single crochet into the next stitch. And again, don't forget to replace your stitch marker into your very first stitch. So I have done one, two into the first stitch and then one into the next. Always replace your stitch marker. And again, continue. So increase, so two stitches into the same place and then one into the next. So you will have two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. For this around three. So I have done my increase and the last one will be my single crochet for this around three. Now for round four, you will do increase into very first stitch, then one single crochet into the next two stitches. So you will have two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, and so on all the way around for this round four. So let me just show you, get your stitch marker out and work your very first increase. So increases two single crochet into the same place. Replace your stitch marker into your very first stitch and then one single crochet into the next two stitches. So one and one. One, and into the next one, one. And again, you will do increase. So into the next one, you will do two stitches into the same place. So one and two, and then one single crochet into the next two stitches one and one like so so you will have two one one two one one for this around four continue all the way around and i am finishing around four so i have done my last increase and then i will do one single crochet in the next two stitches so one and two like so for round five we are going to do increase and then one single crochet into the next three stitches so you will do two one 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 two one 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 and so on for this round five so again into this very first stitch i will do increase so one and two into the same place replace your stitch marker like so and this jute string is super messy as you can see so i have done my first increase and then one single crochet into the next three stitches for this round five so one into the next one one and into the next one one like so and that's how we are going to continue for this round five so i am finishing this round and i have done my last increase and then i will finish it with one single crochet in the next three stitches so one two and three like so round six i am going to work increase into the very first stitch and then one single crochet into the next four stitches so you will have increased two stitches and then one 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 first stitch where was my stitch marker 
like so. Replace your stitch marker and do one more into the same place. Like this. And then one single crochet into the next four stitches. So one into the next one. One into the next one. One <laughs> and into the next one. One. And that's how you are going to work all the way around for this round five increase and then one single crochet into the next four stitches. I am finishing a round six so I have done increase here and then I will have one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three and four like so. For round seven I will do one uh, I for round seven I will do increase and then one single crochet into the next five stitches. So I will have increase so it's two one 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 one. Increase so one and two. Replace your stitch marker into this first one, and then one single crochet into the next five stitches. So we will have one into the next one, one into the next one, one into the next one, one. So we have one, two, and then we have one, two, three, four, and one more. So we have five stitches. So one single crochet into the next five stitches, like so. Continue all the way around. Increase and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. And I am finishing this around seven, so I have increase and then I will have one single crochet in the next five. So one, two, three, four, and the last one, five. For round eight, I will have increase and then one single crochet into the next six stitches. So increase, one and Two, replace your stitch marker like so and then work one single crochet into the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Continue all the way around two and then one single crochet into the next six stitches. So I am finishing and I have done my increase here, one single crochet and then I need five more because I need to finish with one single crochet into the next six stitches. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. For round nine, we are going to do increase into the first stitch, so one and two, replace your stitch marker and then we will do one single crochet into the next 
seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And then I will do increase and one single crochet into the next seven stitches. Continue like so all the way around for this round nine. And I am finishing this round nine and I have done my increase and then I need to finish with one single crochet into the next seven stitches. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now stretch it a little bit like this. And this was my last round for my base. And this was my last around round nine of increasing for round 10 we'll be working single crochet back loop only okay so we are going to stop increasing now and now where was my stitch marker i am going to get it out and this was my very first stitch and i will work only under the back loop like so like this and replace your stitch marker like so and you will work like this all the way around single crochet back loop only for this around 10 like so So I am finishing my round with single crochet back loop only. This is my last stitch. And now you are going to straight it like so. And we are going to measure it. And it should be about five and a half inch or 14 centimeters. Now we done this single crochet back loop only. And as you can see, it will go like this so it's it will give us this nice edge for our basket so if you fold it inside like this because there is no increase we only started to work on our basket like so so now we are going to measure the base of our basket should be about five inches or 13 centimeters okay because our wooden base is five and a half inch or 14 centimeters so our basket is one centimeter smaller so the lid will go on top much easier okay so our base should be 13 centimeters because our lid is 14 centimeters so if you are working with different wooden base make sure your basket is one centimeter one centimeter smaller than your wooden base okie dokie and now once we have this first round of single crochet back loop only we from now on we will be working on our basket and from now on we'll be working single crochet into the spiral so where was your stitch marker you are going to go under the both loops so from now on you won't be working under the back loop only you will be working under the full stitch replace your stitch marker like so 
and you will be working single crochet into the spiral so once you get to your stitch marker here you will simply continue placing single crochet and go again and again all the way around every time you come to your start replace your stitch marker where is your very first stitch so you know where is your start and you will be working like so single crochet in every stitch around and then once i prepared it here once your basket is about three inches or you can go three and a half if you like or even higher it's up to you as this is only a small treasure box or basket i will go only three inches so you will work into the spiral until you have three or three and a half inch and no slip stitching okay so continue working single crochet all the way around and once you come to your stitch marker i show you how to continue so i went all the way around single crochet and where is my stitch marker i will simply place my another single crochet like so my very first one and i will simply continue working single crochet like so every time you come to your very first one don't forget to replace your stitch marker and continue so you will work like so from round 11 to 23 or until you have three or three and a half inch for your basket i have just finished my basket and it should be about three inches you can go even higher it's up to you but i am going to finish here to finish your basket you can go all the way around single crochet and leave it like so or you can do single crochet reverse like we did on our lid so the crab stitch but i decided to go with slip stitch all the way around so to show you this is my very first stitch here and I am going to insert like so and work slip stitch nice and loose don't make it too tight or your basket will go a little bit smaller so into the next one nice and loose as we want this stitch to give us nice finish but we don't want the basket to get smaller at the top. If you want, you can also use a bigger hook. So continue all the way around, working your slip stitches in each stitch. And I am finishing and my slip stitch here and I will slip stitch into the very first stitch like so. Chain one and we are ready to cut the cord or string like so. Make it nice and tight and hide it from the inside. And fast enough. And this is it. This is our beautiful basket. I think this slip stitching is looking amazing all the way around just don't make it too tight and now for our lid of course don't forget to hide this and just make it nice and tight the ring and then place the lid on and it's looking amazing
something. I love it and I hope the teachers will love it too. <laughs> and I have so many to do. This is it. This is our beautiful jute basket or if you want a small treasure box. And if you enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to like it, share it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Unique Stitch Designs. Also hit that notification button until it's gray and you will get notification every time I upload a new video. And please don't forget to find me on social medias and share your projects. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and TikTok. Thank you very much for watching.